FL Studio with NPC Studio? Maybe. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, B. Crow, and ex-producer, B, coming to you with another video today about FL Studio and the MPC Studio MK2. Please remember to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and I've also launched support pages on Patreon and buy me a coffee. You can log in there and subscribe. You'll get monthly benefits, and you also can help me to release these scripts for more software and for more hardware. Uh, your support is much greatly appreciated. Thank you to all of you that have already supported, and I'm looking for more of you guys to support. But today we're talking about the MPC Studio with FL Studio. So let's go ahead and get into it. As most of you guys already know, I've released a script to get the MPC Studio MK2 to work with Ableton Live. Uh, it doesn't work with any other hardware out of the box. It only works with the MPC software that runs on your computer, which is great. It works phenomenal with that. But if you're like me, you dabble in other software as well, and, and you might finish some stuff. It's a different software. And if this controller is going to sit on my desk, I would rather for it to work natively in that software without me having to load up any plugins or load up MPC as a VST. I want it to work out of the box. Um, to be a controller for that software. And so that's what we have here today. I've already released a script for Ableton Live. So if you want that, go check out some of my previous videos. I'll put those in the description and link to them in this video. But today I've been working on a script to get it to work with the MPC uh, Studio and FL Studio. Now, I'm, I'm not a diehard FL Studio user. I've been using it for a little while. I mean, I had one of the first versions back when it was called like Fruity Loops. You know what I'm saying? Back when it was just basically a point and click loop type of software. Uh, most of the time I used Cakewalk and then I migrated over to Ableton Live and been rocking with that ever since. And then Studio One, what I want to track out. But I do know how to use FL Studio. And this device would be a great thing if it could work natively. And FL Studio has a Python interface to it. They have Python bindings to their C library and you, so you can make controllers work. Now they other have, uh, they already have other controllers that work for like a Kai fire is one that works for it. And then there's other controllers out there that are very popular that people are using. But today I want to show you that I've been working on this guy here. Uh, without further ado, let's dive into it. It is not complete. This is just kind of a teaser. Um, and because I don't really use FL Studio on a regular basis like that, I don't really have any preferences as to how I want the control to work in the software. So give me some feedback, put it in the comments, and uh, we'll see if we can't get some of this stuff implemented. So really, you get to be in the driver's seat as to how you want this device work. If you have an MPC studio and you have FL Studio, put a tip in the comment, you know, put something in there. I'll, maybe I can get around to implementing it. Also, don't forget to come and support me for all this work that I'm doing. Um, it's gonna, it's only gonna drive the features up in this thing. All right, we're in the software. Um, you know, Fruity Loops FL Studio starts off with like a like a step sequencer, and that's the first thing that I program. So right away, the jog wheel is going to switch in between the channels, and what you see on the step sequencer is by default it's mirrored on the pads. So if I press the pads, it will turn on, and they go by fours by default. If I play it, you can see that. The, the step sequencer follows where it is in the pattern and also all the pads light up to what step is lit up in the sequence. So if I just want like a four on the floor type of beat, I can do that. I can go to the next track. And I can do my hi-hats. I can do a snare. Pretty cool. And all this is happening based off of that Python script that's, that's integrated in here. Not only that, I've gotten a way where I've got a, a modes on this side, just like in Ableton, how I put different modes on these four little uh, pad banks. I've got modes on the pad banks right here. And the second mode is to play. So if I want to play uh, like an 808, good night, that's too low. Let's try to increase it. There it is. In this mode, I can play and I can shift between different octaves by using these two buttons right here. Right now, this is a chromatic scale. I do have other scales programmed in here. So 
lots of different scales. All right, so it works. You can program your beats in. You can move to different channels. I've also made it to the point where you can mute with this sample select button right here. So if I want to mute the kick, I can do that. And it shows the status right here. It turns red when something is muted. Pretty cool. I think I can even record in. Again, this is not done. I, I forget how much features I implemented. Yep, recording, audio, everything. Uh, we'll just do notes and automation. There you go. Here it is. <laughs> it's cool. All right, so everything is cool. You can even undo it. And it'll keep on going. Uh, you know, probably want to control that channel, that pattern length. Or other, you know, again, not an FL Studio user. Been a while since I got around to actually using this thing. But I'm trying to tell you here that it is, it works, <clears throat> and it works very well. And the possibilities with this particular script are endless. Um, you can do lots of things with this if you, if you desire to do that. Um, it's really just basically going to depend upon how we want to use this with the software. Um, the framework is there for me to easily implement some features. Um, there's a lot of things that are there for me to easily implement the, these, these features. I'm just not a diehard FL Studio user. <clears throat> and so for me, some basic functionality um, just makes this thing work right out of the box. A few things that I think would be very cool um, to be able to use this to arrange your patterns and not just program beats in there. Um, also to be able to use it to record audio. I think it would work great for that. Uh, but it, we're also very limited in this software because uh, FL Studio's Python implementation is not complete for every feature that they have in the program. Um, there's some there's some caveats I've noticed with their, for instance, their browser. I have a mode in here to where you can navigate the browser. So if you go to browse, you can navigate the browser and go through all of your samples. And if you find a sample that you want, you can just uh, click on it and open a new channel and it opens it in a new channel. Um, and then go back to track select mode. You can select that channel if you would, if you want to select it. And then go, go and program it in. So where's my, this 808 I just loaded in. This is the, I'm in play mode right now, so I can play it. All right. Um, but not all the time will the browse mode collapse and uh, expand the different folders that you have. And if you're like me, you got a lot of samples, a lot of audio, a lot of clips and things that you need to navigate. And uh, it's just not straightforward based off of what Python versions that they have loaded up uh, into into that into that uh into what whatever version you're using. What I'm saying is that it's not straightforward, and I haven't seen a, an implementation that works every time. Sometimes it's works, sometimes it doesn't. So if you know something about that, let me know where I can get this browser thing working. Also, uh, the Akai Fire does have a screen, but I'm unable to get the screen to work with this one. Every time I try to load up their screen, first of all, there's no documentation around it. Second of all, every time I try to load up their screen plugin, it crashes FL Studio all altogether. So this script is a work in progress. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know that I am working on this particular script and it is possible to do pretty much whatever you want to do. We can mirror the functionality of the Akai Fire right here on this device. And so really the sky is the limit or actually FL Studio image line is the limit uh, based off of what they allow you to interface with because their programs are written in C++. Their scripts, bindings are written in Python, and they have bindings that uh, expose some of the functionality to us the way we can make scripts for them. So we're really limited based off of what they what they want to allow us to do. So, um, but I'm excited about this. Um, I do plan to release it very soon, um, and I need some feedback from you guys uh, for what features you would like to see um, in this particular script. <clears throat> and I want to release it for free. But if I don't get enough support to release it for free, I'll have to release like a paid version. Um, so you guys make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and also support me. You can go to my Patreon and become a monthly member. 
Um, if you do $5 a month, it'll support this development. If you do, I think it's $10 a month. I'll troubleshoot some of your issues you have with the script. $15 a month, you get access to my, some of my loop packs that I'll be releasing, uh, some keys and some natural sampled sounds and stuff that I have here in the studio, uh, to help level up your game. Um, but if, if you don't want to do anything on a monthly basis, go to my buy me a coffee page and just shoot me $5. If I got about right now, I got about 350 subscribers. So if you guys just go in there, if I get a hundred of you guys to give me $5, I'll have enough, I'll have enough finances to go ahead and get the upgrades that I need, get some additional hardware. And we can really expand this um, to make the open source community grow as far as the music uh, niche is concerned. So do what you can to give me your feedback and support me and we'll put these scripts out there. I'm excited to see what's going to come of this. Uh, but that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks for tuning in. See you guys later. Deuces.